no worries. Letting go of the controller saying more with this moment and being open to the uncertainty of our future. Releases us from the reason of fear. It allows us to respond to life's challenges with our own original wisdom. Against us all safely from many a sticky situation. I was standing in one of the six wheels at the immigration barriers at Perth Airport. Returning from a wonderful trip Sri Lanka via Singapore. The wheels was moving slowly, there were obviously doing a dull route test. A custom officer emerges from a side door in the lovely, letting a small sniffer door turn to detect the road. The incoming traveler smiled nervously as the custom officer lets the sniffer dog up and down it line. Even though they was not carrying any drugs, you couldn't detect a release of tensions after the door sniffed them and moved away to someone else. Once the cute little dog read me and sniff its puppy, it's purring its little muscle in my rub as the wet and what get is torn in rap why eyes. The custom official had to yank at the lash to pull the dog away. The patient turned in line ahead of me, who has been quite friendly before, has now moved a stiff further away from me, and I was sure that the couple behind has moved a step backward. After five minutes, I was much close to the counters when they brought the sniffer dog around again. Up and down the line, the dog went, given its traveler and a little sniff and then moving on. When it came to me, it stopped it again. Its head went in my rope and its tail went crazy. Again, the custom officer had to fall for this, pull the dogs away. I felt on eyes on me house, even though many people might become a little worried at this point. I was completely in luck. If I went to tell, well, I had many friends there and they fit you much better than they do in a monetary. When I read the custom check, they gave me a tall route shirt. I had no crack. Monks would don't even taste alcohol. They didn't strip search me. I think this was because I show no fear. Only this girl asked me why. I doubt the sniffer dog has stopped only at me. I said that monks have great compassion for animals, and maybe that's what was the dog sniff. Or maybe the dog was a monk in one of its past lives. 
they let me go draw up to that. I came very close to getting burnt once by a Miss Australian who has angry and half drunk. Luck of fear set the day as well as my nose. We had just moved into our new city temple a little to the north of Perth. We was having a grand open ceremony and to our surprise and delight, the then governor of Western Australia, Sir Gordon Grant, and his wife had accepted our invitation to attend. I was given the job of organizing the mastery for the cow tire and the chairs for the visitor and thief. I was told by our treasures to get the very best. We want to burst on a very good soul. After a little searching, I found a very expensive hire company. It's what loves Kit in one of the rich western suburbs of Bert and hired out my wish for the garden batteries of the millionaires. I explained what I want to and why it had to be the bed. The woman with whom I did said she understood so the orders were placed. When the Marquis and Tess arrived late on right on Friday afternoon, I was around the bike club, our new temple, helping someone else when I came to test the delivery, the truck, and the man has already gone. I couldn't believe the state of the Marquis. It was conversed with red dirt. I was disappointed. But the problem could be fixed. We began to house the Maguito. Then I test the vis vis the chairs, and they were just as filthy. Rugs were brought out, and my restless volunteer began to clean it there. Lastly, I looked at the special chair for the VIPs. They were special, not one has left the same land. They own what a lot. This is unbelievable. This was too much. I rushed to the phone, called his higher company and cut the woman just as she was about to leave for the weekend. I explained the situation and first she said that we can have the governors of we a rocking on a waffly chair during the ceremony. What if he phones off? She understood. Apologies and assured me that she would have a chair trend within the hour. The time I quit for the delivery truck, I saw it turning into our road. Halfway up the road, some 60 meters from the temple with the truck still traveling quite fast. 
was up, the man tumbled out and came running towards me with fear eyes and a glance foot, where the block in charge. He yelled, "I want to see the blood in charge. I will to find out later that our first delivery was their last for the week." After that, the man had tied it up and retired to the pub to begin the weekend. They must have been well into their weekend drinking. When the manager came into the pub and ordered them on pike to work, the bullies need their chair changed. I went up to this man and said tenderly, "I the block in charge. How can I help?" He moved his face close to mine. With his right foot still planted on more touching my nose, his eyes were burning with anger. I smelled the strong odor of beer from his mouth, only a few inches away. I felt neither fear nor annoyance. I just relaxed. My soul, college friends stopped cleaning the chair to watch. Not one of them came to help me. Ten lost friends. The face of less a couple of minutes. I was fascinated by what was happening. That angry walker was frozen by my response. His conditioning was only. Used to see fear or counter aggression, his friend did not know how to respond to someone relaxed when one's up his foot and next to their nostrils. I knew he could not punch me. No more way. Fearlessness bewilders him. In the last few minutes, the truck has parked. And the boss came towards us. He put his hand on the frozen squawker's shoulder and said, "Come on, let's unload the chair. Let's rock the empire's giving him a way out." I said, "Yes, I will give you a hand," and we unload the chair together.